So today I'm going to be shooting some stylized wedding images of my clients Danielle and Jero. Uh, it's otherwise known as a post-wedding shoot. I shot their wedding in March of 2015. However, they booked me for a full day post-wedding shoot so that we could get more creative images uh, in a more controlled environment than what would have been possible on the wedding day itself. So that's today. We're going to be shooting several different locations. That there in the frame helping out is Danielle's mom. She was kind enough to come along and help out. So let's get started. Here we go. Let that try. Okay. So now I'm, you, you have all the veil. All right. Let's see here. Let me come back a ways. All right. And you got it, Jarrell. That's pretty good. Just, uh, you know, uh, the, the foot that's on that is good. Point the toe downward a bit more. Yeah. And just uh, aim it more. Yeah, like that right there. And then just looking toward, toward Danielle there. Good. Try to, if you can, spread your arms out slightly. Give a little bit more of a wider, keep the shoulders wide. And then, yeah, looking down toward her side there. And that's it, Danielle. Try to uh, keep your face aimed up toward his direction. So turn your head, Danielle, a bit more inland. Yeah, 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 even a bit more. Yes, and chin up really, really high. He's looking right back there at him. And just hang tight like that for one second. Hold it there. To give shape to that dress, kind of bend that in toward Duro a bit more. Yep. And then, Danielle, let's take your camera side arm and let's, um, let's do a couple different things. Let's try one to go between his arm and his chest. Bring your arm right around the back of him. Yep. Pull him in nice and close. Try to leave a little bit of space between your heads together. Good. Yeah. Like that. Go in close. And again, because of the, you know, the framing of it, I don't think looking at camera is good for this one. So just facing toward each other more. Yeah, like that. And then I want to try one other thing, Danielle, your far side hand. Go right around and go up and, and kind of cradle the back of Jero's head. Yep, that hand there. Exactly. Good. And that's right, Jero, the other hand go right around to her backside there. Just like that. Separate the faces a little bit more. Good. Like that. Hold it there. Chin's up a little higher. All right. Stay just like that, guys. Okay? Hold it there. Just, just stay just like that. Just smiling at each other. Stand by, hold it. And then just go in for a nice, soft, slow kiss. All right, it's fantastic. Can you actually turn your shoulders in this way a little bit more? That's it, like that. Good. This time, definitely camera side of the pocket side. And can you hold hands with the other hand with her? So yeah, yeah, exactly. And then just keep those hands nice and low. Right, just like that. Cool. Chin up a bit. Good. All right, that's it. And then Danielle, without moving your stance too much, just try to lean in toward Jero a bit more. Good. And the other issue, Danielle, it's too straight to dress. So take take the uh, camera side leg and reverse. So bend that one in. Yes, right like that. Yeah, yeah. Lean slightly toward him. That's it. Uh, and then looking toward Jero, Danielle, J and Jero, looking toward me for one. Hold it there. Good. That's it. Danielle's at Jero. Jero's at me. Hold it. There with me. Hold it there. Good. Looking more toward each other and just kind of interacting back and forth there. So for this shot, I wanted to get some more fluid motion and some more spontaneous reactions. So I have them walking toward camera and now it's just all about timing. I'm waiting and waiting for the right moment and then I see Danielle do this. For this image of Danielle, I wanted to get a shot with her, the wind and the veil all blowing. I have her posed facing the sun so my exposure is the same across the board and then I'm instructing her from my position. I tell her to move her arm back so it can separate and then as soon as she does, I see it and I get this. That looks too posed, but we might do it in a minute because it does look nice. But instead, go back out like this and then lift it in, almost like you were going to take a step. Okay. Yeah. Okay, got you. Just like that. So put this like this. Yep. Okay. And then profile here. Yep. And just so we show some of that material. Pretty. Good. Now facing each other for sure. Right. And then without moving your feet, just lean toward each other. Right. Like that. That's it. And then Jero, let's do camera side hand. Let's park that in the pocket. That's it. 
And then I want to bring one of your shoes up so that you're not too static. Yeah, like that. That's it. Now turn your chin my way, Jero. So still looking toward Danielle. Just now, just move, your, just turn your head, yes. And then just the eyes at her, yes, like that. That's it, Danielle, good. And then you'll end up leaning toward him a bit more too, Danielle. Hold it there and just don't, don't move, okay? Stay just like that, hold it there. Hold it there, guys. So this was a very tricky shot to get because I had to go across the street to capture it. So I'm shooting at 200 millimeters with full compression. I've given my clients a rough idea of the pose. And then at the last minute, I yell back, to get the reaction I wanted, and then I go in and I get this. Yep, that's good for your positioning. Turn, now lock in your low, waist down, lock it in. Just the waist, slightly feather my way a little bit. Right, stop. Now this arm, it's like this. You have to roll that elbow back. Nice and close. Good. And then bring your face in out more on this side so that the light's about the same. Good. And now just turn your jawline toward him. And then both of you try to lean together off the post, whatever. Good. Just like there. And then this hand here, because I'm going to do some that are close up and I want to cut your hand. And then bring your arm off the body so it just hangs without any tension there. Good. Fingers together here. Bring your face. Now you lean a little bit more because he's, he's more, he's like this. Daniel, you lean in a little bit more of this way to level it out. Yes. Chin up a bit. And that's so the light's about the same. Stay just like that. Hold it there. Both looking toward me. All right. Hang tight. Hold it there. Hold it. Yeah, this is going to be good. Hold it there. <laughs> Lean in a little bit closer with your faces. Yep, stop, good, hold it. Hang tight. That's good. Hang on. Lean forward a little bit with your waist. Good. And now, Danielle, that arm over there, just go forward. Yes. Shoulders back. Good. Turn the jaw toward him a little bit. Eyes still at me, though. Good. That's awesome. Hold it there. Chin up. Good. Yes. Couple like that. And then go in for a nice kiss and lean more. Lean, lean, lean over more toward me, yes. Good, laughing and kissing. <laughs> yes! <laughs> He's so stupid, what do you do? <laughs> yeah, I know, it's hard. Time for a kiss, yes. Actually, can I get a filthy kiss? We, get, we do like a filthy one, Just a, a filthy? Okay, all right, all right. You try it. All right. I, all right, I'm ready. Don't look at camera. Laughing, 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 laughing. Out, Dan, Dan. Out, That's it. Stick the shoes out. That's it. Right. No, yes. Good. That's great. I got it. Okay. One of those hopefully uh, came out. <laughs> yes, like that. Hold it there. Separate it a little bit. Right there. Hold it. And then Jerome walk down to Danielle and just kiss her on the cheek. That's it. And now looking like you're gonna kiss. So eyes at each other's lips. Yes. But Jerome tilt the head more to the background versus me. So tilt the head. The, uh, yes. There we go. And chin, yeah, that's it. Danielle, hold it there. Separate your faces a little bit more for the separate. And then Danielle, chin down a little bit. That's it. Hold it there. Hold it. Hold it. So for this shot, I'm using an incredibly slow shutter speed, about one-tenth of a second, to get a creative shot of my clients in the middle of the road. And now it's just a matter of waiting for the right moment. First, turn the waist more this way. 
Yep, and now just turn your face in this way. Good, and then Jero, turn your chin this way. Yes, and you just stay with me like that. Lean a bit more into my shot. It's a pretty close up shot. Good, and laughing Danielle, get ready. Good, that's it, yes, like that, laughing off. That's great, that's great, Jero. Now Jero, I want you looking downward, this direction, off camera, hysterically laughing, okay? Thank you. All right, that's it, ready? And then Danielle, you know, Danielle, just look at me. Just a nice, basic smile there. Good, hold it there. It's great, hold it. So this, we were literally walking back to the car. I see a nice pocket of light. So I had them walking along, and I was able to capture this. Eyes closed for a few. Yeah, hold it there. That's it, lean in toward Danielle. Chin up, Danielle. Good, hold it there. Laughing hysterically, both of you. Laughing, laughing, laughing. So now, wrapping things up, um, we are now in the design district in Miami. Uh, the sun had just gone down, so it was providing some really nice, soft, ambient light for me to work with. Um, we were passing by, and I saw this little kind of decrepit building and such, and so I wanted to try and get some cool stylized shots with the two of them, a bit more fun and romantic. So I uh, had them out there, I posed them against the wall as you saw a second ago. I added one studio light just off there, you can see camera left, and I'm using that to quite literally light the trees and the grass, just to provide some pop and some separation between them. Um, I'm using all ambient light for the main exposure in the camera. So that backlight is just providing just a little bit of a highlight. 